When you drive up, it's an absolutely beautiful property. You have really a true peace that washes over you. The staff is like one big family. I mean, you establish a relationship with each volunteer that you work with, each horse, and um, they make me feel welcome every time I come. The mission and the goal of the Red Barn is to share God's love. I mean, you feel the presence when you're here. Faith, hope, and love, it's awesome. My name is Maria Alexander, and I'm a volunteer at the Red Barn for so many different reasons. That you're coming to help a child, help a wonderful program, the Red Barn. Whether it's being that sidewalker, maybe get it, giving a hug, or um, helping. I mean, I cleaned out stalls one day, and we had a great time, <laughs> but that was another way to help, to give back. I'm Alicia Christopher, and I'm a volunteer at the Red Barn. I get so much more out of volunteering here than I could ever give. It is a special, special place. Everyone you come in contact with, the staff and all the other volunteers and the families, I've helped with the same little boy for two years. It's just so fun to establish a relationship with those families and to see how the Red Barn impacts them and just blesses their family so much. My name is Gretchen Pickett. I started helping at the Red Barn when Joy approached me about the need for someone with accounting experience. And so they had several different planning committees and I was on the finance planning committee. But it's been beautiful to just watch them expand here with all of their different programs and the people that they touch. When it started with one little kiddo, I kid. <laughs> it's just been awesome. So. When you see these little kiddos out here, they're in therapy like 30 hours a week if you're in a formal program. You're in a hospital, you're in a clinic, and you're sitting at a desk and you're getting drilled. Or you're doing speech therapy, you're doing occupational therapy. Well, Reed's out on a horse outside giggling and getting therapy and he doesn't even know it. We have to brush a horse and we have to clean out a stall. I mean, they're if you're gonna play, you gotta pay. <laughs> and I think those are important life lessons. But he's doing it outside, not in a classroom setting. So that's been a great, beautiful thing. And that's why we've been here for eight years. And that's why we keep coming back.